Hello everybody, good morning, afternoon, evening to everybody. This is uh, Friday evening, 10 p.m. Singapore time. So we are in plus X, plus 8 GMT. So it means we are like eight hours ahead of people in Europe. All right. So hello, Paolo. You're always the first one, but today you're not excessively early. You are just, just in time, like kind of like the right time to be in, you know, like normally they are saying you know like the people who are really um very mm, the, the 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 early people they are like kind of 15 minutes early so you're like just on point you know and we have uh, nancy also coming in about same time so yay thank you thanks for joining two of you uh good morning to nancy's and then good afternoon to paulo how's your how have your how's your week been um do house house everything and do you guys manage to do any any art or do you like manage to i know like um, nancy mentioned she she was having a bit of difficulty with getting like non-muddy colors yeah but let me let's face it the colors that we are using for limited palette challenge of march is going to be very very muddy because it's just how it is because they are all like um secondary colors so you you know like i've, I've done this so I, I i realize i have not written the name of the palette challenge so let me just let me just do that right now before we start the whole thing let's just write this down so today i'm just gonna use my best bestest handwriting you know like it took me so long to be able to write like this way you know i used to you know like that several years back um like this kind of script calligraphy was like all in a rage you know like everybody just giving workshop just teaching people to do it and then i think now it has become like sort of a thing that kind of everybody knows how to do um so yeah thanks to those early um the what do you call that the uh, people who embrace this uh this uh I, I think it the script kind of like i i grew to be able to draw it i mean if the more you do it is it dioxazine as in d i o, -O? <laughs> is it x a x a oh no <laughs> i hope i haven't been like oh it's x a yeah okay <laughs> dioxazine purple you know like so i am really thankful for those people who uh, you know taught us um how to do script uh, calligraphy like this. So I hope everybody has have a, like had a good week and everything's really good. Yay. All right. So there you go. So we have the limited palette challenge, March 2023. And Violet. Oh. Oh. It's okay. Purple. I mean, um, I don't know. I take purple like similar to Violet. Is purple more bluish? You always spell it wrong. <laughs> it's probably more bluish than violet. Like violet seems a little bit more like like magenta. Like magenta is really like pink, and then you have you have uh, violet, and then you have purple, right? And then you have like I don't know. <laughs> you don't <tell> anyone. <laughs> purple is a mixture of blue and red. Right. Yes. And violet is it like more red than blue? And how, how does that work? Like, what if it's more, like, more blue than it is, pop, like, red? Then what do you, do, do we have a different name for it? I'm just wondering. So anyway, the three colors that we have are uh, Queen Acrodome, Burn Orange, uh, Undersea Green. Undersea Green is actually really beautiful, but somehow on the screen, like, StreamYard, I'm actually streaming at 720p. So I don't think it's very high resolution, um, but it's very granulating, but it looks kind of dull here right um, looks kind of like gray but it's actually green so i don't know like my camera kind of let me see if i can adjust nah i don't think it would actually matter so i'm actually making it more blue so can you see it's actually greenish and then like when i turn it like is it better this is like totally yellow like let me kind of oh oh there oh lavender lavender is kind i mean i think lavender to me is kind of like the lighter version or the um the pastel version of purple is lavender there's also wisteria you know wisteria y-s-t-r-i so what's the difference <laughs> i really wonder <laughs> what is 
the difference? So anyway, and then we do have our dioxazine violet purple PV23, right? The color that we all hate. Okay, maybe just me. The color that I hate. Um, and this, this is the mixture, like the color you can get when you put all of them together. But yes, you can see, you get like tons of like browns and grays and more browns. Like there's nothing spectacular, like the mixture is just brown. But I would just like to say thing like just kind of comment, like this is kind of a raw umber color, burnt umber, raw burnt umber. Um, and then we have like the kind of the more grayish color. And then here we have something more brown, like a burnt umber color. So raw umber, burnt umber, and like paint gray, okay? Okay, so here are the possible mixtures that we can get. And this is uh, what we painted last week. I'm sorry the orange like tangerine doesn't really look like tangerine somehow. <laughs> They're like tiny. <laughs> uh, oh god, okay, okay, there you go. So Paulo says, names are just names. And thus they can mean a lot of stuff. Yeah, where are you, man? That's true, that's true. Oh, that is that's all like the difference between soup and stew. No. There's a difference between soup and stew. Like soup, soup has a lot of like the water, the liquid part. Stew has less of the liquid part and more of the stuff, you know, and it can be a bit sticky. I don't know, like stuff. <laughs> so I think there's still a difference. And Paula says, um, purple is a color mixture, whereas violet is a spectrum color. Ah, meaning it consists of a single wavelength of light. <gasps> scientific education kicks in oh no okay i i don't think i want to explain it in scientific manner like i think my physics well, i didn't get really good grades for my physics <laughs> i'm more of a biology and chemistry person i'm not a very chemistry i mean i'm not a very physics person so <laughs> okay so today we are going to paint um they actually like i did show Hey, hi, Tracy. Hello. Good morning, Tracy. How's your week? How have you been? How's everything? Have you been painting? What is your latest project? Uh, do you buy any new art, art material? <laughs> it's always nice to kind of catch up. Um, okay, so there's a little problem. I would say it's a problem um, with my painting because it's lo looking moldy. So that's what my friend, like my, I have a friend who told me that um, like on Facebook, because I share this on my Instagram, it somehow also poses on my Facebook. So my Facebook friend told me, yeah, your cake looks moldy. <laughs> then I realized I've actually done so many moldy cakes and I think I should sell them like these prints uh, during Halloween <laughs> so that, you know, I can put like a happy Halloween and then we have this like moldy cake for sale, like a card or something. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Tracy say have been hanging out with Paolo learning about pigments. Oh, here? Or you actually have been like learning about pigments elsewhere. Nice to share. Yeah, right? thanks for sharing that. Uh what else I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are having, I won't say the problem, but I just like to share um something that I think we might have to decide, you know, um, as like a uh, community because you know you guys are watching the live stream today and uh what is this camera assistant i don't need a camera assistant okay never mind <laughs> mixing import oh another person's stream oh well that's interesting cool 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 which which uh which which channel do you watch it'll be interesting to the kind of like you know hang out um, just to see how people mix stuff, like mix colors. I think color mixing is kind of fun. It's kind of the, um, but I think for watercolor, there's not a lot you can do. Dirty blue tube on YouTube. Okay, that's <laughs> <It's> so cute. <laughs> okay, so Nancy says, yeah, so anyone, people, if you like to learn about mixing impossible colors, learning about color mixing, yeah, go to dirty blue tube. Okay, yeah, I shall, I shall write it somewhere. You know, like I have all these like, things that I learned, but I just don't remember. So let me just open up my notes and then, uh, you know, I'll be also learning about like um, keeping notes and stuff. So live stream, I'm going to just type there, live stream suggestions, suggestions. Okay, so there. So let me just put that down. Uh, dirty blue. Too interesting. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just going to look at it. 
And Paolo says, oh, he was mixing yellow, magenta, and oh, magenta and cyan. Isn't that like the primary colors, the, pri the, the, the brightest? Oh, I see, like he's trying to mix them. Like he's, he's trying to mix magenta from something. Is that what you mean? Or he's like trying to mix them all together? Is Ari here? Where's Ari? Ari, I can't see you. Oh, ah, there you go. Hi, Ari. Hello. Hi, hi. Oh, Ari has done like such a good job on the portrait because remember, like we are supposed to do a portrait at the end of the 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 palette, the limited palette. Um, and I, you guys won't see it unless you're in the squad. Mm. And and yeah, he has done such a good job, and I really really love it. So yeah, we will see it soon uh then we have cb hey hey hello cb hi hey yo thumbs up please <laughs> can i thumbs up myself as well <laughs> everybody say everybody thumbs up oh i almost forgot like i'm supposed to like do this so yes i like to thank my supporters like before i start like i always forgot to do forget to do that but anyway i like to thank these people <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to thank, uh, of course, um, our DRGS Pro, who, who's no longer in toilet. Like, he's not in toilet today. He just came out from the toilet. <laughs> I'd like to thank our uh, blog user, Rudy, Catherine K, and also the cloth shutter, who, who has been really, like, um, very, very, uh, you know, nice. And he, he, he's very generous and, yeah, donated quite a lot of money. So, hoo-hoo. Okay. Anyway. Oh. There, there, there. Oh, no, he wasn't trying. Oh, I seen like he was. He was mixing. He succeed like he did. Okay. Although the primaries he mix don't behave like primaries. Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, maybe I'll go like kind of watch it. Like he's, yeah, I shall. I shall go and check it out. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Whatever he has done. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's a beautiful moldy cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's you know, I, I didn't even think about like it being moldy until the end. I think, you know, one thing to note about painting a cake is don't use, <laughs> don't use, oh, CB says, just like the Wanderers like it. So Wanderers like moldy cake. Hmm, okay. <laughs> so the thing about painting cake is just try not to use granulating colors because it would end up looking like this, you know, like how we've done it. <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. I, I'm, yeah, really very thankful for these people because without them, you know, I, I, I won't say I can't do stuff, but, you know, it just makes things easier, makes things uh, much more, you know, the encouragement is real. Like you just feel like people support what you do and you just just think, you just think that, you know, you're on the right track and, and, and people like likes it. So, yeah, that's that's like a like morale morale booster thing. So yeah, thank you so much. So as you can see, I'm gonna just kind of share my coffee. I don't know. I'm just like kind of talking, just kind of sharing more stuff. There, there, there. Oh, there. Oh, ooh, to pick my interest, he mixed cyan from PG fifty and PV fifty five. Well, that's like granulating. That's very interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting. We should I I should I I should try to do it. But but when when after that when he makes the cyan with like how which cyan did he compare it with? Is it like um what's the good cyan? I may think manganese blue, phthalo, phthalo blue. Phthalo blue is kind of a kind of a, a cyan 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 blue. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking. So anyway, I would like to show you guys my coffee page just to share like what's going on so let me just do that all right present a share screen share screen again share window yeah there you go share so this is my coffee page and yeah so i finally reached my second goal which was to like um get the canva as you can see canva canva um 
what do you call that? Yeah, that oh, wait, hold on. There you go. So yeah, it was the to get the Canva subscription for 2023, 2022. And I met it, I met it. And then my new goal is actually to be able to get like a subscription to this StreamYard basic plan because then that allows me to like multi-stream and then I have 10 people. You know how we always do that? Uh, on the like kind of the last week of, of the live stream on month on in the month. So yeah, just to let you guys know. There, right. Okay, stop screen. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, the modern color cherry rabbit. What? Yeah, manganese blue, right? I see. There you go. I know. That's really interesting. <laughs> I, yeah, that I think I think manganese blue is like the quintessential. It's like the the cyan blue. Like I don't think there's anything else that is like as cyan as manganese blue. I managed to actually have a a pot of it, like a pigment, but I have not like really gone down to like maybe milling, milling it because I don't know. I don't think I know how to do it properly yet. So I shall not waste the pigment. Yeah, but there. <laughs> Oh, Zhu Huan. Is Zhu Huan around? Knock, knock. <laughs> CB is looking for Zhu Huan. <laughs> oh, he is selling manganese blue. Oh, you guys should get like one, one top from like one, one blue pen. I have a pen from, I think I got it from Etsy. And I also from the same shop, I got like a whole pot of it. um, Like 50 grams or something. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, it does. That's true. Yeah, coffee does like allow you to be some some kind of a like uh yeah like um you you don't have to like let people know things if they you don't want to like you can remain anonymous, which is good, which is good. Like I think a lot of um you know uh, yeah I think when we are online we kind of like want to cut um not people know like who we are so. Yeah. So anyway, before I start painting, because, you know, this week is anything goes week. So anything thing goes week means I paint anything because first week is always dessert. Second week can be flowers, can be animals, can be sceneries. I think I haven't done scenery for a long time. You know, one of these days I should do scenery. Um, Like last, the last one I did like flower and then I did like uh, before that I did rabbits and I did Oh, I did like a, yeah, I really did like do a scenery. So wait, I should actually do a scenery, but I don't think I do. Like I actually did one scenery too here. And then um, then I did scenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have dogs, I think. Yeah. So yeah, we do like anything goes. So it has been a while. There, there, there. <laughs> do one. <laughs> how do you know, Chris? <laughs> My secret. I, how? <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. Hello, Suhan. Good evening to you. No, morning. It's morning over there. Is it? Yeah, it is morning over there. Good morning. So yes, I, I want to introduce a special problem. Since there's so many of you today, I see 10 people, right? I know like not a lot of you are like, yeah, people are shy, you know, like some people who who not like say hi but it's fine i i just want to introduce a small problem i have a problem because um uh, let me just kind of share uh share screen there oh let me let me just share my screen share screen there you go share screen yeah they'll go share All right so remember i did share with everybody that i will do an iris right the um this flower no am i able to like make this bigger can i oh yeah i can so i was supposed to like paint this one and then I realized that I did promise people that I'm going to paint like a rooster, right? Um, so rooster is a bird. And um, then I was just, I actually was looking for a picture of roosters. And I realized that there's no way that whatever I paint today will look like a rooster because rooster has this like red comb, you know, on the head thing, that thing. And there's no red. There's no red in this palette. So there's no way like I paint it and it's going to look like a rooster. So... Mm. So I decided, okay, let's look for something purple. And I, I just kind of stumbled upon the iris. I was like, okay, yeah. It's like, oh, wow, bubbles. Oh, no, bubbles. Um, water droplets. Oh, interesting. I'm going to like maybe try painting water droplets. So that, that's why I chose the, the uh, iris. And then, then I realized, hey, maybe you should paint birds because the last week we did like flowers. So water. Water? <laughs> what yeah and then then i realized that oh yeah we, we that that is a pigeon um maybe you should paint a pigeon because i saw that these are the colors we have i think the only thing that i cannot get is the neck you know this this patch of like 
green. We need a phalo green for this, which I do not have in the palette. So, but yeah, we're just going to use the undersea green. So I like a poll, like for people here, would you rather I paint a pigeon or an iris? So one for pigeon, two for iris. Okay, let me type that. I like a poll. Paul, let's do a poll. Okay, can I do like a poll, like a proper poll? I don't think I can do a proper poll. Can I? No, no, I cannot. That, oh, you have to be over 50 to understand the reference to a film star. <laughs> okay, I, I am not. So I do not understand the reference. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Wait, Zhuhan says, so we have one, right? So Zhuhan says he wants a pigeon. All right. Nancy says, oh, I was thinking of a pigeon instead of dessert. Not, but not sure yet. Not sure yet. You want, so you want a pigeon? You want pigeon? Water. I really don't. Chris, I don't understand. What's a water? <laughs> As in water? Okay. Yeah, I, I really don't. I don't get it. <laughs> you have to explain. So we have two. Can I say like it's all one? Like you guys are okay? Like you want pigeon pie? Pigeon? Everybody wants a pigeon. Like why? Why pigeon? <laughs> Is it because like we already had flower? Like the last. So Tracy says pigeon pie. Mm. <laughs> oh, she's gonna paint a pigeon. All right, okay, a pigeon. That, I think everybody likes pigeons. Okay, let's do pigeon then. What I mean, I don't remember, I really don't mind because I think the last time we've been painting, we oh, and Ari says pigeon as well. All right, we'll do that because I think, I think, okay, I think the partial reason this is getting weird in it. <laughs> what, what, what's getting why, why is it getting weird? Like, why <laughs> you know, I, I think the reason for me, I mean, other than that, we I had painted painted flower last last month, no, no yeah, was that is that I think the iris. Iris is a little bit, the color doesn't really fit because it's, you need some sort of like quinacridone uh, rose. You need a quinacridone rose. You need like maybe ultramarine. Um, and I think the alcohol violet is not going to cut it. I think it might look very like moldy. And I think pigeon is fine, you know. <laughs> oh, Chris says, ah, water Davis. Oh, pig. Uh, do you, do I pronounce it as pigeon? Pigeon, Pigeon, mm. was a Canadian American actor. He earned two Academy Awards for Best Actor nomination uh, for his role in Oh Mrs. Miniver and Madame Madame Curie. Ah, I see. I have not. I have not seen those. You know, but I think the recent uh, Academy Award was like so amazing. Like um, two Asian actors won something, which is wow. I think it's it's just. Yeah, it has been a long time. Like, I mean, this whole thing happened. So there. <laughs> Paolo says, oh, jumping from iris to pigeon. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. And and Nancy says, oh, and Nancy says, um, oh, you ain't got no yellow. Yeah, that's true. There's no, there's no yellow. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Have you noticed that the pigeon is staring at us? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's like judging us. <laughs> like, hey, look at me. Uh, you should paint me, you know? Yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> like, high five, man. <laughs> it's a judgy, <laughs> the judgy, judgy pigeon. <laughs> yeah, it is probably evil. <laughs> okay, so let's go with the evil pigeon, all right? Let's make him extra evil. <laughs> Okay, I'll do that. We'll do, we'll do. <laughs> Patient it shall be. So don't worry about it. Like I will go back. <laughs> it's so not fair, at least to allow that pigeon to look at us. <laughs> no, I I mean I think that's I really quite like Greg Gregory. Okay. Gregory. I think he's like plotting, you know, like how um there's this cartoon called Pinky and a Brain. So they always plot, um, they, they plot every night. They're two like lead mice and they um, plot like taking over the world every night. And I think Gregory, the pigeon, probably uh, is like, yeah, trying to do that. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> you know a lot about film, don't you? Okay, cool. All right. So let's let's go and paint some pigeons. It's like my first time painting pigeon. You know, like how we have always been like like interested in doing very nice, beautiful things. Um, so I saw it's sometimes interesting or fun to do something that is like always there. Like I think pigeon is something very common. Um, it's everywhere. Like every country has it. Um, it's like probably the most common thing. Other than, um, I don't know. Just kind of like okay, I I, I don't know. I don't know about. Just kind of do a poll, uh, huh? Like I think in Singapore, the most um popular or common um uh of avian, avian avian species out there um flying around is the pigeon and the miner. Miner is like the black black color, like crowish looking um bird. And then there's also sparrows. Um, yeah, pretty much it. And there's this bird that goes like ooh every morning. Like if you're late. He will like he if you hear him it means you're late for school because he, he goes like woo every like eight p.m. like eight a.m. and in the evening about seven p.m. it goes woo so we call it the woo but all right so <laughs> it's it's really cute ah uh, there oh hello hi looking up pack okay <laughs> all right everybody likes it <laughs> so I'm practically searching. Uh, Google for film reference. I'll tell you. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, Tracy. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's okay. Everybody's so encouraging. Okay, let me take my um, uh, please to kind of just like lay down the pages so that I can paint. Thank you very, very much. And then, uh, <laughs> do you what do you know <laughs> okay Paolo says he's um, going to pick up some medicine okay go 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 <laughs> oh looking up knows the answer all right <laughs> awesome no price there um you can ask um cb for the price to the price for for correct to answering that correctly <laughs> CB, please send him or her some washi tapes, the tons of washi tape that you have. Have you, you finished them up? I, I remember he was like really proud of his uh, washi tapes. Like he got like tons of it. <laughs> oh, okay, just popping in briefly. All right. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Uh, okay, so who's Gregory? Gregory Peck. Okay, interesting. I, I think it's all these like references. Uh, okay, so let me just take this down. I will bring this up a bit so that we can see the whole thing. Okay, let me just. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Don't worry, don't worry. Um, Zuhan, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand too. I, I, I really. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It's kind of like I guess like insider joke kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know him either. And your consolation price is like what is it? <laughs> Maybe it's washi tape. Hello, Sassy Cat. So Sassy Cat says hello from Queensland, Australia. Oh, oh that's really far. Oh my god, Sassy. You how is it like? Let me see. What time is it over there? Is it 2 a.m.? Like 2 30? <laughs> and I think you're in the same um time zone as Tu Wan over there, who who's in around the area. So thank you so much for catching me. Like it's such an early, early uh time. Okay, so let me just um, do the stuff that I need to do. <laughs> okay, thank you. So how how are you, Ceci? Um, are you uh do you, uh are you also doing a um watercolor painting? What art do you do? You know, I am um we are doing a limited palette challenge, and today we are going to do um um a bird, right? Like kind of a ubiquitous bird, like a common bird in in every anywhere. Oh, they're two, oh, two hours behind. Oh, okay. Well, 12.30 is pretty late as well. <laughs> yeah, good morning to you. Like, really, really early. So, yeah, as I was saying, um, what, what, what birds are really common in the areas, like, where you are? Like, I know in some countries, like, seagulls are really, really popular. No, I wouldn't say popular. Popular is the wrong word. But they are very common. Um, but in Singapore, I don't think we have seagulls. Have we? 
we don't have a seagull at all. I don't think we have a lot of seagulls here. Let me think. I don't think so. I don't remember seeing seagulls. Mm -hmm. um, Nancy says she's at 733 a.m. Yeah, like the day, like um, I think Sassy Cat is in is uh 18th, is on the 18th of March. Well, Nancy, Nancy is on uh is it it's um 17th of March for her. So that like you know, that's such a great difference. Like everybody's leaving in different time zones. Which is very, very amazing. Like, I can never, you know, that, like, I can never understand how that can actually happen, you know, when when everybody just kind of get together, you know, in a space and, and you know, and you're living in so, like, several hundred thousands of kilometers away, which is very, very amazing. There. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, okay. Sassy Cat says she does, uh, he or she does uh, watercolor acrylic inks. Oh, acrylic inks. Oh, uh, inks as in as in uh, in, the, in the fountain pen. <laughs> and then uh, Ari says a chicken is a common bird. Like okay, talking about chicken. Like today, I was at um a hospital. It's a public hospital in Singapore. And I think if you are on Discord, I I did share a video um of of that. Like there's this little space in between um two two blocks, and it's like close to the car park and there was like a colony of chicken like just hanging out there and it's really funny because we don't see chickens to get, like in, in open safe spaces like that so I was so intrigued <laughs> oh every morning you hear the sound Ooh. do you you have like chicken do you have, your, your family um, keep have pet chicken as as uh, pets or you know um, for for your for the trade or something you know that I, I know of people like um i don't know if it's a common thing right now like there are people who actually keep silky chicken and they are like so cute like furry like little um chicks like but big like not little they are like big furry white chicks which is really really cute oh she says, pack the international chicken. Ha ha, let me check. You know, I, I'm so intrigued. Like, what is this about Gregory Pack and International? <laughs> let me. Gregory. Oh, he's an American actor. Wow. He's so such a long time. Oh, let me see. Okay. He's a popular film star from the 1940s to the 1970s. Okay. Well, he's the 12th greatest male star of classic Hollywood cinema. And how many Oscars did he... Oh, he received five Academy Award nominations. So I think this is what... Let me just share. Sharing. Hold on. Share screen. Share screen. There. 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 Share. Sharing. There you go. Oh, there you go. This is Gregory Peck. Okay, I... I am not certain that I know, <laughs> but interesting. These are all the sh all I think Roman holiday. Hey, hey, I heard of this. This is um with Audrey Hepburn. Is it? Is it with Audrey Hepburn? I know Audrey Hepburn. Oh yes. Ha! Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, so I only know this one because I know Audrey Hepburn. She's so pretty. She's like the most beautiful person I know. So okay, there you go. We learned something new today. Yeah. To Gregory Pack. Interesting. Okie doke. So we will call him Gregory. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like, I don't know. I don't feel, hmm, it feels really bad. Like <laughs> calling, naming him after like, a, like calling the pigeon. Okay, stop sharing screen and just going back to normal. Oh, there. There, 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 there. Oh, no. But my neighbor owns, oh, oh wow. Animal farm. I think it's fairly... Are you staying somewhere rural or it's just them like trying to have um, like their own supply of eggs? I think, yeah, it's kind of a practical thing, isn't it? You know? And Sassy Cat says, oh, we live in suburbia oh, near a river. So you get cock ooh, cockatoo, galas, and ooh, what are those? Oh, that's interesting. I know, I know croc crocatoos are like, like, they are like parrots, you know, with a really like funky hair. I don't know about galas and kookaburra bu burras. Oh, that's, that's interesting. <gasps> oh, oh, silkies. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, they are beautiful. They are, they are. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tracy says they are beautiful. They are, they are. <laughs> and our nomination, if you want, I would have I'll remember his name. Oh, do you study? Are you like, are you like the kind of, um, you, you, you remember all the Academy Award winners? What? Do you? I'm just wondering, okay, hey, um, did, uh, did Audrey Hepburn win like uh, a, 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 a Academy Award? Just, just wondering. <laughs> oh, okay. Be right back. See you. See you around. See you soon. <laughs> and oh, uh, okay. Nancy says, Kuka Bura allowed. Oh, she won one? Really? Oh, I didn't know. What which one did she? Okay, let me, let me. Ah, Audrey. Let me find Heaven. Oh, she's so pretty. Academy Award. Oh, she did 1954. What did she win? Best Actress. No, I think a few she. Oh, she nominated? She was fine. Oh, she was. Oh, yeah, correct. She was. She won. Uh, she was awarded 1953 Academy Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in Roman Holiday. Yeah, which is the same one. Oh, she had four wins. Oh, really? Wow, you what? <laughs> How do you know? Wow. Are you like a, you know, like when they do trivials and trivials and stuff? Are you are you the kind who who who, who would like people will 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 kind of push you to to kind of uh represent or like to go up and 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 you know like to do the trivia? I think you can. You know, she won one Academy Award. Oh, there, there, there. Okay, <laughs> like I think we are becoming like a trivia. Okay, let me just kind of share screen. <laughs> There, I don't know if like Wiki says. Wiki says she she won an Academy Award, like three BAFTA, BAFTA, BAFTA Award, one Emmy, two Golden Globes, one Grammy, so many awards. Wow, oh my gosh, oh you are <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, so I think I should I should stop. <laughs> I should start drawing, or else our evil pigeon will not manifest so this is this is mr evil Persian. should i like give him like a you know like what i think he needs a top hat and like some sort of like a like an eye like a eye loopy eye thingy you know um if you guys remember watching uh um, umbrella academy you know the regulars oh no what's his name the the evil dad so with that with that like monocule is it monocule monocle Monocle? <laughs> I, I think it it yeah it, it will make him look even more evil. Nah. <laughs> oh Sassy Cat says, oh the noisiest noisiest birds I've ever owned are oh guinea fowl. I think someone mentioned about guinea fowl like being like you know being served dinner in a dinner. Oh was it? Where did I read that? Okay, anyway, we're talking about that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I see. Not really about. Uh, not really about five minutes from city center. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> there. And 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 oh, she has a record of four. Oh, four wins. Interesting. Okay. I think we. Yeah. You are. You know, sometimes I don't know how you you can pack all this information in your head. <laughs> like for me, you know. Um, if you, I think I will win a trivia on dogs because I know all the breeds. I'm sure I know all the breeds. I'm a dog nerd, if that's such a word. <laughs> and then she says, yes, and a mustache and a monocle. Mono, monocle, monocle. Okay, so let me just kind of like think about how it's fairly simple. I think if I were to, you know, the only issue is being able to draft it right. Because, um, yeah, I think that's the most important thing to, especially for, for animals, you, the drafting has to be good. Like it has to, yeah, it, it has to be fairly accurate. So let me try. I am not sure if I think I shall not be too concerned about it. Hold on, just hold on for a minute. Let me just 
I I think I'm a, I'm thinking too much about it, such that like, mm, yeah, I should actually make this a bit bigger. Okay, just one more minute. I need to erase this one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many people, um, you know, like I know a lot of people paint peacocks, um, and more like exotic birds. And even sparrows. I'm not sure if people paint pigeons. I really don't know. Yeah. Or seagulls. I think seagulls is uh they are more uh or crows. I think crows are fairly uh it's quite a fairly common subject for painting or for drawing. Especially if you you know like into I remember always seeing people, yeah, especially if you're like inking, you're doing fountain pen, inks and stuff like art. You tend to like draw a lot of uh, crows because they are like so black um, and or ravens like raven is another word so yeah um i'm not sure i'm not sure about pigeons though like i i think they are what do you guys think about pigeon like i think they are like they seem like they're fairly stupid like i don't know i mean that's that's what i think <laughs> but but yeah yeah like um they are kind of the 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 more innocent. Um, like I really like this, you know, like this part of the pigeon over here. There's this little I don't know what you call this. Like, is there a special name for this thing? It makes them look like they are wearing something on the nose. Like this could be like the little part, of the nose, it's where the nose is. Yeah, I don't know. Very cute. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So there so i i am very um if you guys are on oh nancy says australia has some awesome colored pigeons <gasps> really okay sure no problem see you tracy bye bye they they have well i i don't know like in singapore the pigeon is only one color it's only like gray i don't think it has any other colors mm. <laughs> i'm not so sure like what colors have you seen them like in 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 you know um could they be like maybe green or purple or like oh hey top hat <laughs> okay i'm not sure how i'm gonna do the monocle thing monocle monocle thing like is it like like this is it like that and then we have the little mustache i don't know how that mustache mustache gonna work but he's not looking evil though. Like this is not looking evil at all. <laughs> okay, there. So I don't know if people will be so confused. Like I, I tell people like I'm gonna paint an iris, and then suddenly they they come in and are like, "Hey, what is this? <laughs> what? This is not an iris. This is a bird." <laughs> I think they'll be so shocked. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe I should change the name. But I'm not sure if it's possible to actually change the name of the stream midway, like while you're kind of streaming it. Yeah, but it's okay. It's fine. I can actually change it maybe later. So I think now I'm my legit my pigeon looks like it is so fat. So I should I make him a bit short? Like yeah, less fat. Nah, it's okay. I'll just leave him as being a big fat one. Ooh, radiating radiating colors down their back. Whoa, that's that's so cool. I I'm not sure if there are like maybe I should go Google. Oh, do I know the bird? The bird crested ibis. No, guess what? It's, it's Chinese name. I I tell you, I don't know a lot of birds. I only know parrots, pigeons. Crows, yeah. I don't know what what is it. <laughs> That's very, yeah. What's the ch okay? Let me let me check. Like let me at least check like how it looks like. I'm so sorry. Like I feel like I'm not, I am not qualified to talk about birds. <laughs> Chinese crested ibis ibis. Oh oh um he ma is it called he? I don't know. Oh, that's very interesting. The face is like red and, and it has this really long beak. <gasps> oh my god, really? 
as in Scott Zhu Huan. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, let me check. Let me check Chinese name. Okay, let me check. Is that like the reason why your parents call you the name Zhu Huan? Is it because they want to call you um, after, like name you after the bird? Oh, what's the Chinese name? Chinese name. Oh my god, yes, it's called Zhu Huan. Yes, you're right. <gasps> Interesting. Okay, let me share with everybody. Oh my god, you guys must share this. There. <gasps> oh, there you go. I didn't know that word is Zhu Huan, like that, that Zhu, right? I know Zhu means red, right? But the Huan, I didn't know that's Huan. Like, it looks like some, you know, if I see bird like this, like if I see the Chinese word, right? Um, that you type, I will actually read it as Niao. <laughs> you know how how bad I like how how bad uh, I won't say how bad, but it's just how it is. Like when you're Chinese, the characters are just so many characters. It's just difficult for you to um to know how to pronounce every word. It's impossible for you to know every word. It's impossible. So they always tell you like the easiest or the the, the kind of a trick to 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 name or to learning how to pronounce or know, like say the word, is to read like the side of it. And that side is actually bird. So I would call it like Zhu Niao or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm not very um, good at it. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. So um, let's do the pigeon. You know, I don't think I. it's very glamorous, but I think they are. They are, they, I, I quite like how this one looks. Look kind of cute though. <laughs> very, very interesting. So I, I think it's it's um yeah, it's it's uh I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, I hope I'm not gonna you remember the last time I painted a bird and the bird was like <laughs> This is gonna be a cool pigeon. <laughs> you know, it's supposed to be evil. <laughs> evil. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna look evil. It's probably not gonna look like very evil. It's gonna be like really cool. I want to get a like a look. Let, let's give him a bow tie. So it's just gonna get a like a bow tie here. Yeah? Right. So it's a gentlemanly, gentlemanly pigeon. <laughs> not evil, he's just gentlemanly. So there you go. Right, I think it'll be fun painting him. Like, why is it him? Oh, because he has a top hat. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there. All right. You remember I last painted, I, I can show you guys the bird that I last painted. It was so fat. It was just like over the edge, fat and chonky. Remember we did this one? He was like, this part looks really odd. He looks like kind of squash. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay let's stop at here okay let's stop at this <laughs> let's not like continue because it's gonna look more and more dressed <laughs> i'm gonna like start to give him like a little tuxedo oh should we give him a tuxedo <laughs> how do we draw a tuxedo <laughs> okay, okay okay stop stop <laughs> stop the nonsense Oh gosh. Okay, let me erase off the lines because I find like sometimes for me, I shall I shall leave Tu Huan's comment here because it's so funny. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Let me let me do that. Let me do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll erase this one off because I think it's a little bit too much. He's gonna look so fat, so I'm just gonna like erase this off, and I will just it up there. <laughs> oh, should I give him a cane? <laughs> Where should I put a cane? Like maybe I put a cane. Where should I put his cane? Like where's his hands? He's he has really big hands though, like a small little head, but he has such big hands. <laughs> I will put his cane somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, Sassy Cat says, oh, Pigeon racing is still a sport here. Poor man's race horses. How do they know? Like, how do you race? Have you seen them? I've not seen a, 
a, a, a pigeon race. How does that work? Like, do they, um, how do the pigeons know like they're supposed to get to this place? Do they like train them like at the at the location? And like, yeah, how does it work? And how do you follow them? Or do you have like someone at the, the at the destination and then you have someone in the, you know, at a starting point and just kind of release them? Things kind of interesting. Oh, really? In, in your, I, I've not seen it. Like in Singapore, we only have horse racing. I don't even think we have dog racing. I think in some countries they have like, um, I don't know, like um, rooster fighting, which I think is very, very, um, it's bad. I think it's as bad as like bull fighting. So racing, I'm okay, but I'm not okay with fighting. I think fighting is really bad. Uh, Paolo says he's back. Hi, Paolo. Welcome back. I hope everything's good. Like it's just a normal like kind of routine pick up medicine for you. Okay. A lot of people are not feeling very well. You know, people around me are feeling sick. So I don't know why. There. Okay, so pigeon. And I think we're gonna have fun painting him. I hope. I hope I'm not gonna like make him look too comical because you know we actually wanted to make him look evil, right? I think there's no way he's gonna look evil at all. Oh, Nancy says, you used to have, where, oh, where you used to live, a, a neighbor has rolling pigeons. What? They literally roll while in flight? Like, how, huh? how, how, does, how does that happen? Like, roll while in flight. How, how does, how do you fly and roll at the same time? That seemed very interesting. Like, I, I wish I could see that in action. Very, very interesting. Rolling flying pigeons. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm a little bit like worried about the fur. I think it this this one will do quite well. Um you know, like there's some you 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 know for me the part that's worry worrying is the um feather. Getting the feathers right can be a little bit uh it needs a bit of work. Because you need to kind of see the pattern. There are these like little like things that that you need to kind of make sure that you 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 have it painted. So I think I will not think too much. I will just use wet on wet for this part. But it'd be fun to to draw. I think if I were to draw this, I think it would I would have fun doing it. You know, it'd be kind of interesting to just kind of play with like uh, all these like you know. This texture, I don't know, like these uh, feather just going interweaving, and then you have some parts that's like the more white than others, and some, yeah, like interesting, like texture here. So, there. So, I will think I'll do, what I'll do is just using, <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> oh, they, are, they, are tum they tumble. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. I, I will Google. Maybe I'll go YouTube and Google like tumbling. <laughs> ah, tumbling pigeons. Ari says, oh, I once saw a hummingbird. Oh, I'm not, I don't think I've seen a hummingbird before, but what? Like it's so tiny. <gasps> oh my God. I've not seen it. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Dwarf user is taken and he has done it again. Thank you. Thanks for your coffee. Thanks for your donation and your support. Yay! Let me add, <laughs> let me add this in. So we have one donation today. Yay! All right, let me write it down. So we have there you go. Uh block user is taken. You know, like. Um, you know what I'll do is I'll just kind of let it like roll. I'm not gonna like remove. I'm just gonna let it roll like, and then we have block user taken again. Okay, there you go. All right, save. And then we're just gonna have it tickle. Yeah, there you go. So we have him too, Rudy. And then Catherine K, the cloth, the cloth, the cloth shutter, and then block user taken again. <laughs> there. Thank you so much for the coffee. Yay, yay. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, especially when a hummingbird flies near your... What? They do? They do, really? I'm, I'm not sure if I've seen a hummingbird. You know, I'm I'm kind of... You know, like there's... I know friends who watch, like they're bird watcher, we call them. I have a friend who... Work friend, um, who's a 
he called himself a bird watcher. No. He takes photo of birds. He like goes out in his like gear, you know, with his camera and everything. He goes out and takes picture of birds, like wild birds in Singapore. Um, I don't know if I've, I've told you guys this story, but um, there was once, um, I can tell you again, you know, I don't know if you guys have heard that from me, just tell me like, oh, hey, you've told that story before. But I, I remember when he was still working with us, um, he he was like crazy about birds. So he, he even volunteers at a bird park. We do have a bird park, you know, where they have like birds uh, from different parts of the world. So he, he volunteers there and he's like so crazy about these animals. And there was once I came to the office really angry because um, a bird pooped on my head. So I had like a patch of my, I had poop, like bird poop on my head. Um, and the first thing he asked me was, do you see the bird? Do you know what bird poop on you? You know how other people would would ask you is, oh no, do you wash your hair? You know, how was it? Oh, oh no, poor thing. Like he was so excited about the bird and not me. So yeah, you, 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 that's, that's weird. Like, yeah, you get this kind of weird comments from people. Um, I, I guess it's it's the same thing, you know. Like, if you are interested in 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 like um, uh, other things, you might ask other something that's related to your interest. So that's pretty common. Okay, how are you, blog user? I hope everything's good on your side. And um, did you have a great Singapore breakfast today? Oh no, that's for tomorrow, isn't it? So today we are painting a pigeon, as you can see. Like I did say I will paint an iris, but in the end, we are painting pigeons. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Oh, that's a new story. Okay, cool. All right. I, I, I thought I told it like to many people many times. Yeah, but he was funny. And then he was even asking me, oh, how was the poop like? Like, was it like granular? Did you get seeds in it? What seed was in the, how, what color was it? I was like, please stop. <laughs> got poop in my hair and you're asking me about this question <laughs> let's let's not talk about it <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah oh i should go take oh pictures at the gardens by the bay now got new additions in the garden oh like what like what that's cool that's cool <laughs> oh okay so sassy cat says pigeons are all transported to uh to the to the to the place ah to somewhere to an area in creates and then release and their time when they be do you get like birds that are like kind of that when that goes missing i hope not <laughs> i think I'll, I'll be so stressed if my bird goes missing and do they like get like do they win like like how much does the, is it a big game like um do they get a lot of do they get paid a lot um the people having the trick the trainers like do they is it like kind of like um yeah i think it's probably like 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 winning a horse race kind of thing you know so blog user you're saying that there is like new new installation in the garden um like what what do you actually see at the garden that you want to share with with people here is it like related to flowers or is it related to birds <laughs> okay i'm trying to get a, a gray let me let me just kind of refer back to how I should how I how should I mix to get a gray okay yeah yeah green and okay I think I need probably need more green just just hold on for a minute I need to get like a kind of a gray color so I'm trying to mix okay so the thing is you can't really see how I mix it I'm just gonna put it here uh. oh Blog user says, actually didn't have SG breakfast today. It was just normal carrot cake. Oh yeah, that is no, that's true. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Singapore, Singaporean carrot cake does not have carrot. No, he has turnip in it. Like, and then in Singapore, turnip is like white carrot. We call it white carrot. So it's technically still carrots in the, in it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, tight. We call it tight tau kui or like tak kui. So it's the same thing <laughs> too. I was like, what? Nah, what? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's about um, our carrot cake. If you come to Singapore, we'll bring you to to try out. Thanks. Thanks for sharing it. Yeah, I think Zuhan should try out our carrot cake. It, it, it's interesting. You know how what they do is they, they will fry it uh, with egg, um, eggs. And um, I think they do put in... 
uh, dark sauce, uh, dark soy sauce. And it's and then they also have like the creamy uh, sweet sauce, soy sauce. And it's super like interesting. The texture is sweet and salty and like umami. And yeah, it's really nice. It's one of the, I don't like it, but there are some people who really like it. Like I think the RJS Pro likes it quite a lot, but he likes it extra spicy and extra uh, sweet. Yeah, it's like he always tells the guy frying it like, can I have more sweet sauce? Like, please, like, extra, extra sweet sauce and extra, extra spicy, that kind of thing. So that's that's about our Tai Tao Gui or carrot cake. Okay. So I'm using this, like, huge brush. This is um the Raven uh, from Jackson's. I think it's one of my favorite uh, mop at the moment. Um, yeah. So I'm a little bit concerned um, that it might be a little bit big. So now I'm just going to try to use a smaller brush. So I'll use uh, the um, rosemary. So I think that's a bit of like green here. So I'm just going to put in that green inside. <laughs> what kind of cake is that? <laughs> it's called carrot. <laughs> it's not. It's. Mm, I don't know why they call it carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ari is so so confused. Just type like single. It's called like Thai. I don't know. It's called it's just carrot cake. It's called fried fried carrot cake. <laughs> I shared a transformer. Oh, I know, I know. Um, they are having a transformer thing in in uh, Gardens by the Bay. Is that is that why you? You 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 are yeah you, you recommend us like you 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 ask you're asking you you're like letting me know about it because of the um is it because of the uh transformer uh is it like kind of an exhibition thing that's going on? Hmm. Ah uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> Yeah, so blog user saying like, um, I heard someone ahead of me tell the store owner, owner Chao Hei Dian. Yeah, Chao Hei Dian means adding more sweet sauce. <laughs> it's the same. So you'll hear blog, um, um, DRJS Pro say that to the store owner, like Chao Hei Dian, Lai Dian Hei Dian. <laughs> no, I think it's not Yi Dian, it's like a lot, like Chao Hei, okay, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ta, oh, I'm really bad at my Hokkien. <laughs> oh, tampo. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm really bad. Okay, so my I don't know if I can get like the a good color though. Like, I find like like more um yeah, I think the green, I'm a little bit worried about getting that, that patch of green because I don't think I can get a really nice patch of green. It's just gonna look so dark, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, there's actually two versions, the white version and the black version. The white version is pretty nice. Always confused as well. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> why carrot? Call it carrot cake then. I don't know why is it the cake. Oh, the cake is because um, okay. How they do it is they they will chop up these turnips. You need the white the the turnip thing, like the white carrot thing. Like it, they will they will like kind of chop it up, and they will like put it together with some flour, rice flour, and they will steam it. So, you know, that's like the base of it. They call it the, th that is the cake of um, steam, rice, flour, like carrot, turnip, steamed with in, in, in rice. And that is the cake version. And then after that, they would like take blocks of it and they'll chop it into small pieces and they'll put egg and they'll put like, uh, I don't know, spring onion sauce, like dark sauce and, and chili and they just fry it. Correct. It is. So it's, it really is called stir fry cake. That's right. Yeah, it's not sweet at all. So I think I think people here are going to be so mind blown. I don't even think you guys would would actually order it because um it's it's just really bad. You know, like it's really funny. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried the ice kacang, the this um it's a it's a dessert. I think I painted it like last year um, and and it has corn in it. And I know a lot of my friends, European friends from Europe or you, like 
yeah, they they just couldn't accept that dessert because to them, corn is a savory thing. It shouldn't go with a dessert. <laughs> so that's something. That's something that 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 is um uh like something for us to kind of you know ponder upon. <laughs> you put a carrot cake. Oh really? My description. <laughs> Really making you you hungry? <laughs> How was your version of your carrot cake? Was it was it like as dark <laughs> as as um? Is it hey yo hey you la? <laughs> now I tell you like it's really weird. Like I don't know if I am a true Singaporean because I don't like it at all. I mean I don't mind the white the the whiter version. So what the whiter version? Like I'm so sad. Like this poor pigeon. We'll never get this pretty beautiful phalo green. Should I just drop a bit of phalo green on it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Like I think only Asian likes shaved ice with cream corn and syrup. Like I know a lot of Europeans couldn't like put that together. Like ice, sweet, and corn. Like to them was like no, and <laughs> they just rejected the whole thing. I don't know about Paolo. Paolo, do you? What do you think about it? Do you like hate it? <laughs> Do you find it weird? I drop sun green? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I feel like I'm cheating. I think I'm cheating. No, no, I shall not. Because it, I, I don't want to cheat, okay? I'm not a cheater. I shall not cheat. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I, I will not. What I'll do is I'll just kind of just drop the colors in so that it's a little bit more... Uh, what do you call it? I just want to like let the granulation happen. Just kind of like drop it in so you see a lot of that color. Yeah, like that 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 green just kind of like yeah, diffuse out. Okay. <laughs> a block user says, "Oh yay! That's uh oh, there is a movie promotion for Transformers: Rise of the Beast at the Gardens. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. Yeah, I think I've seen it uh on TikTok that there is such a thing happening. You know, I'm 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 actually excited for John Wick four. Like anyone here watch John who 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 knows like or who who likes John Wick? I hope there are people who love John Wick because it's like kind of my you know I normally am not a <laughs> the RGS who puts up his hands. <laughs> like like I know I'm not a person who likes um action movies. Like I I don't make me watch action movies because I don't like it. But John Wick is the only show that I really really like. Like I I immediately like go and like tell. DRJS Pro, like, hey, go, let's go watch it. I really like it, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, Paolo says, I will eat anything <laughs> at least once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I like your attitude. You know, there are some people who just, just doesn't want to try new stuff. And I find these people, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's really their, their choice, you know? They are like missing out a lot of things. So I like your attitude. Always try something at least once. If you don't like it, okay, fine, you know? Yeah, don't. Next time. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're referring to, to the carrot cake, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Paolo says, oh, we have bean pastry, so it's not weird for me. Okay. Yeah, we have bean pastries as well. Oh, as in like, oh, like, you know, like we cook uh, red beans and green beans in soup and it's sweet. So I, I hope... That is something that you know, like you're okay with. <laughs> okay. And Zuhan says, I wish I could say the same, Paolo. <laughs> I'm afraid to eat bugs. Actually, I don't mind trying. Actually, I had it once. I think we got like a pack from Thailand. Where's where's Pain in Hiding? Yeah, I think I got once one pack and it was actually okay. I think it's some sort of silkworm or something. It was just crispy and yeah, like it tastes like like chips. <laughs> Yeah, we do tons of stuff to it. <laughs> Ari says, I think it's the same with avocado. I like to eat it with tuna poke. Oh, it, it is? Like, I think I think avocado is, is okay. It's like a... It's like a, a... Very versatile dish. Like, you can have it sweet and you can also have it, like, savory. Hmm, it's a very versatile dish. Definitely. <laughs> Fermented beans! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, probably. I think we do have all these fermented beans. Oh, forgot to bought Mother's Day. 
Mother's Day? When is it? When is it Mother's Day? Like, what? Is isn't the Mother's Day like second week of, uh, of May? Are you like too early, uh, Chris? Uh, Rock user says, oh, oh yeah, that's actually okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, and avocado on on buttered toast. Yeah, I know, right? It's it's two months favorite favorite food, <laughs> favorite dish. <laughs> and finally, we have vlog meeting Chris. Chris meet team team meet Chris. <laughs> After so long, right? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Is it? Is it? Is it tomorrow? And and Nancy says red bean over ice is a Japanese dessert. Yeah, it is. It is. That's true. That's true. <laughs> And 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 blog user ask about yes yes is it is it <laughs> is it is it tomorrow? Oh no! And Ari says, Mother's Day is in December. Oh no! I'm confused. Isn't it in May? Uh oh. Why why is everybody's Mother's Day different? Isn't Mother's Day in in May? <laughs> and we have blog and we have pain in hiding. Hello, pain in hiding. Yay yay. Oh, okay, gotta work soon. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I decided on the pigeons because everybody wants a pigeon. It's like, you know, Paula was like, this is so weird. The transition from iris to pigeon is just sudden, so sudden. <laughs> and there we are. Here we are painting pigeon. <laughs> and we decided that it's gonna be a no, we, we first decided that it's gonna be an evil pigeon. And then now it's it's a, a gentlemanly pigeon. Like, can you see? Like, I actually wanted to give him a bow tie. Um, oh, hold on. Let me just kind of like add the colors in because I think it's looking like the colors are not. I'm just gonna drop in more colors. I want that color to just kind of. Can you see how that color just goes? Like, whoa, yeah. And then I'm just gonna drop in more the pure colors here. Yeah, I you know what work, work really fast here because if you don't. You're gonna like miss the chance of having all that color do its thing, you know. So yeah, sorry, I'm not looking at the chat because I'm trying to get the colors moving. And this is very important. This is really, really important. I want to get a bit of that there. A lot of the um wet on wet happening here, just letting that color flow. I think that's how it, it should work, you know. Oh Nancy says our mother stays in May. Yeah, it is. Sunday, March 19, Mother's Day. I am my blown. When's Father's Day? When's Father's Day? <gasps> what? Thailand's Mother's Day is August? Huh? <laughs> what is this? And Ari says Indonesia's Mother's Day is on 22nd December. Whoa, I guess that helps to kind of diffuse, like kind of let, let people get do all the Mother's Day thing at different times of the year. Because otherwise, I don't know, y'all. Yeah, everything's gonna like your, your shopping app, like Amazon's gonna crash, you know, if everybody buys, decide to buy something for mother um, on the same day, you know, I don't know. I think it could be for that purpose, right? The hey. <gasps> Oh, Father's Day! Father's Day in Portugal. Portugal is also nineteen of March. Aha. Okay. Oh, Father's Day is nineteen of March. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Chris, Chris. Um, Mother's Day is on nineteen of March in in the Britain, in and 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 Father's Day is on wait in Portugal is Portugal. It's it's nineteen of March. So. <sighs> Nancy, I think Singapore's with you. We my Father's Day is in June. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, pigeon is quite essential. Oh, briefcase. Okay, I'll give him a like I, I actually drawn a top hat, but yes, I'm gonna give him a bowler's hat. And I'm gonna have like a little briefcase somewhere for him. You are right. Okay, I'm gonna do that. We we know we're talking about giving him like a mustache and like a like a, a little like mono monocle monocle. Yeah, I I think we're gonna have a monocle as well for him. Yeah, and 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 Payne says Father's Day is December the fifth <sighs> in Thailand. Okay, should I do a summary here? I am. I'm mind blown. I thought it's always the same. In Singapore, it is. We I think we're the same as the, as the US on this. 
but I think different country. Um, yeah, we all have different days. <gasps> what is this? Ho oh, ho! I tell you, you know, I think it's fun because I learn something every day. Like I learn something during every time. Like not just not just art. You know, I learn something about culture. You know, different country doing different things. So interesting. Woohoo! Interesting. Ah, uh, we have two Father's Day. Why? Why are there two Father's Day? One in November and one in June. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought British use only canes. <laughs> no, they have briefcase. <laughs> Very interesting. This is an interesting topic about Father's Day and Mother's Day. You know, like maybe we should do, I don't know. It's just how like different things are just so different everywhere. Okay, so now I am just going to just going to uh, paint all these parts here. Just gonna let it that that like half happen. You know, I think this paint is not going to be that difficult, um, because it's a lot about wet on wet. But I have to be really careful um, as to how I approach the wet on wet on the feathers because it has to be kind of controlled spread. It cannot be like spread out. You know, I have to make sure it spreads out really nicely. So I'm a Tense moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, Chris says, I was at St. Michael's Mount in Conwell, England, when I took oh, <laughs> took the lens cap off your Canon camera and look at the pigeon put right on the lens. No. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Penny Honey says, I'm going to have to grab food and go. Bye. Bye. Bye, Penny Honey. Are you driving? Are you going to start driving? Oh, oh, November is National Father Day. And June is International Father's Day. Oh, hold on. Hold on. How come in Indonesia there's two Father's Day and only one Mother's Day? Hmm? Why? Why? <laughs> is there a reason? Did someone give a reason? Like, why is it? <laughs> oh, Cornwall. I want to go to Cornwall. 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 I want to go to Cornwall. The Vika of Dip K? Huh? What? Oh, the corn. Oh, the the what? Did it? The what? Lives there? Deep, deep B, deep. Ah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay. Yeah, nobody knows. We never know. <laughs> this is so interesting. Yeah, that's that's how things are. You know. You know. I have not seen. I think I will. Oh yeah yeah yeah. We do have that little. Portion. I, I think I will okay I'll, I'll just paint it down so before I mix this part right I have to be really careful um with it huh what what VOD what at least pass away what what is what 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 show is that huh huh <laughs> Vinka of what Ugh, I have to search hold on I shall procrastinate a little bit here. Okay, let me let that dry a bit while I go like Google. What is it that you guys are talking about? What is this? Uh, oh, it is. I tell you, I think I, I feel so... <laughs> oh, I see. Thinker of Deep Blue. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I don't even think I've watched it before. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Oh, you just learned it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you grew up with British sit sitcoms. I think I, I wouldn't say I grew, grew up with uh, American sitcoms, but it, they were really, really popular in Singapore. But I don't think I grew up with them. Um, I don't know what I grew up with. Books, studying. <laughs> and computer games, Nintendo, you know. I think I, I grew up with, with computer games a lot. Yeah, like it's like one of the most rewarding thing. Like, yeah. And Harry Potter. No, I don't really grow up with Harry Potter. Like, it happened when I was in my adult time, like when I'm already an adult. But yeah, there you go. Okay, let me try to paint it slowly. 
Oh, there. So Juan, you also need to check out to the Manual Born and the Good Life are the great series. Okay, <laughs> all right. Interesting. Thank you, everyone, for sharing all these um, uh, interesting things. Uh, I, I guess, like, how do you manage to, to watch all these shows? Um, to Juan, because do you, like, used to stay, do you spend time in the, in the... Uh, UK, you know, when you were young. How do you manage to watch these? You know, like um, for Singapore, we get a lot of, we have a lot of uh, sitcoms. Uh, we, we watch a lot of like you, the like I think Friends. You know, they're not exactly very old, but I mean, I still remember. And then we also do watch, uh, let me see what else do we have? Buffy the Vampire? That's not really a sitcom. It's just kind of like those drama things that we watch. Uh, yeah, and I think Xena, Xena, Hercules. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that kind of really, really old. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Okay. So see, Chris says, what foot in the grave? That's another show. Ah, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, you grew up in in the in, in Australia, so they play on TV. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I, do you guys watch Hercules? I, I know it's like fairly uh recent. But I, I, I think I remember like watching them on the TV and it was fairly popular. It was quite popular with, with, with uh, yeah, young and old and we discussed. I think it's, yeah, the kind of thing that we watch. Yeah. Okay. Let me continue with the bird. Okay, I think it's looking okay. I don't think I have a big issue with it. Just trying to do some control. Um, yeah, let me. Disney film? No. Oh, Ari says, um, no, it's not the Disney film. It's the one. Oh, let me Google. Google it. Is it called Hercules? Let me check. Uh, I don't think you've. It's like a. It's not a film. It's not a film. Yeah. Is it called Hercules? Hercules drama? Is it? I think it's a drama. It's like a super. Not sure if you guys have watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay, let me show you this. It's this one. Um I remember. I remember this one. There. I'm not sure if you guys have watched it though. This one. <laughs> I remember watching this. I think it was like pretty popular. So that's that's what I know. Oh, Greg is looking good. Thank you. So uh, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let me let me just continue with 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 um with him. Because I think this is the part that has I have to be a little bit careful so that he gets right like the fur looks mm. like the fur the i say fur the feather looks okay so I, i'm just going to just have a bit of like a under kind of a color yeah there <laughs> and now we have the two of them discussing about dramas <laughs> What but how would you be able like where where can we watch these like on um are they on currently on um maybe uh, YouTube like could you find these in uh, in YouTube I I believe so like I think that's also like my your language which I think I've watched I am I I don't follow but I know um of my your language is it called my your language which is I think blog user likes i think he did mention probably once or twice that he actually he, he liked it and he remember all the characters from there <laughs> and ari says oh i have no idea <laughs> okay it's okay <laughs> it's fine yeah but if you're free you know maybe if you have nothing to do and you want to watch something different yeah maybe you can you can watch like try to just catch a little bit it might look weird though like yeah, like you go like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, but it's interesting, you know, the kind of thing that we grow up uh, on. It just feels like, you know, sometimes, you know, the generation, as you grow um, older, 
you you find like people you, you start to find like you can't you don't find people to who, 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 to speak with um about things that you know um about you know um it's just a little bit sad sometimes so yeah just just like how you know we'll be talking about the stuff that we know and then you you just realize that not many people know it anymore hi <sighs> sigh <laughs> okay so let me continue with getting these details down okay he's looking a little bit more like i don't know like a falcon i don't think he looks like a a pigeon he's a dignified one you know his fur is different his feather is different I keep, sorry fur not fur it's it's, it's feather I keep telling i'm sorry for my mistake oh nancy nancy are you around do you want to share what you're having for breakfast no, we always have the segment where we guess what Nancy will have for her breakfast. Are you having fruits and yogurt? Nancy! Oh, Duhan says, Oh, Hercules and Zina are both from New Zealand. Oh, they are? Okay. I didn't know. <laughs> you also watched them. Yay, cool. High five. Yeah, Zina is like kind of the, you know, like the... Um, uh, idol, you know, she is strong and she can fight very well. And yeah, like I, 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 I don't say I don't think I inspire to be her, but I think she kind of like lend a voice to you know girls. We are not like just you know waiting to be saved. We are not damsel in distress. We can fight. We can yeah. We can we can do things. You know, so yeah, like girl movement. <laughs> Nancy, Nancy says yes, banana and Greek yogurt. Awesome. You can add some honey to oh wait, are you are you you are you are allergic to honey, right? Are you? No, no, no. Don't don't, don't, add, don't add honey. Maybe you can add like brown sugar, <laughs> coconut sugar. <laughs> Anari says in royalty pigeon. Yes, he is going to have a briefcase and he's going to have his uh, boss hat. <laughs> oh, since it's chilly here, matcha tea, yum, yum. Do you make matcha tea the matcha the Japanese way? Or is it like from a pack or something? I have not really tried like the matcha matcha. You know, those like real, I don't know what it's called, like the Japanese style, you know? Um, I don't know how the actual, the the the, the Japanese matcha, how it should taste. I haven't really try, tried it yet. I haven't tried it in my life. One of these days when I go to Japan, I should try it. Yeah. You know, for, for us here, matcha means you go to the supermarket and you get like a pack of like the, you know, the tea bag. It says matcha. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, you're not. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I remember someone else. Yeah, but you can add like honey to your bananas. <laughs> oh, you also had a tea bag. Your uh, Paolo says he was invited for Corona. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's uh, important. So he became, um, he's no longer an evil uh, pigeon. He's, he's an important pigeon, okay? Gregory is an important pigeon. He's going for coronation and he's going with his um, uh, his briefcase and his uh, top hat, his, uh, his bowler hat, bowler, bowler hat. <laughs> so fun. It's always interesting, you know, when it kind of give life to to the the subjects that we paint, giving them like special um, kind of meaning in your life, <laughs> the life of a bird. Oh, Nancy says it's a tea bag. It's actually a mixture of sancha and matcha tea. Oh, okay. I, I have that. I think I have something like that as well. But it's really nice. Like, I know I, yes, I love to go to Japanese restaurant because they will give it to you, like, free flow. Like, they will give you a cup of, you tell, if you order hot tea, they're going to give you a cup hot and you, they have that. Um, and, you know, they will refill, they'll top up that water for you. So you always get that one. <laughs> um, Ari says, it stays out. Oh, it tastes slightly bitter, but not overpowering. Are you referring to the matcha? Oh, I see. Oh, as you're saying, oh, you mean the real matcha, the, the foamy one? But um, why? Like, is it does it taste much better than tea? 
like the kind of tea we have the tea bag or why is it such a prized thing you know why do you have to get these do these kind of thing you know have the tea and then you have this little like brooming broom thing i don't know this thing um yeah why like and they say it's delicious like why is it delicious you know i i, I really want to try the proper one one of these days mm. and then she says oh okay you can't <laughs> drink more than two cups oh no <laughs> i think for me it was is if i drink matcha really late in the day i will not be able to fall asleep so today i have i had a lot of coffee so i don't know i hope i can fall asleep later on <laughs> <laughs> yes we do so this is uh i will write his life story here greg the pigeon goes to a coronation in his boss bowler's hat and a brief an important briefcase <laughs> golden briefcase you know <laughs> oh is that potent of a gut oh cleaner of a gut oh for me it's fine you know like i don't i don't think i get the runs when i drink matcha Okay, I'm not try it, but yeah, one day I'll try it. Oh, the real stuff bitter, but not so much that makes you shudder. I see. No, I we like it in um uh what do you call that? Uh for me, I like it in cakes like the matcha tiramitsu, matcha cake, um, awesome. Like anything is is in, in matcha, matcha green tea, matcha latte, matcha, yeah, it's just lovely. I also like hojicha. Um, I also like things like um, uh, what other teas are there? I like Earl Grey. I don't know. Is is it weird for me to like Earl Grey? I love Earl Grey. Like that's probably one of my favorite drink. I can drink Earl Grey, um, all the time and not get sick of it. <laughs> Who here loves Earl Grey? Oh mochi. Oh yeah, it goes well with mochi as well. Like green tea mochi. Like mochi with the. I, green tea ice cream inside mochi. Oh, so good. I tell you. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Ari says, making matcha is rather tedious. Oh, since the plant needs to be shaded so the leaf is more green. Oh, I didn't know. So, I think it's really like a whole discipline, like a whole industry. I don't know how you call that. Like a whole... How everything is just so... Um different you know in a way um it's protected like the whole there's a lot of knowledge that that goes into getting a good pot of like matcha so i, I think i can understand why how that 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 you know resulted in all these like special um what do you call that uh knowledge and and how it can be so expensive and so well respected and i think it's also with the bowl like they serve a lot of these pottery um, I know a lot of friends who are doing pottery and, and they have the, they make these ceramic bowls and they are like so exquisite and serve them in a very nice uh, uh, yeah, bowl. Oh, Nancy says she also drinks a combination of turmeric and ginger tea. Okay. I mean, I don't know. For me, turmeric is kind of a weird... It's weird because turmeric is in curry. We drink, we eat a lot of curry. Actually, turmeric and ginger are in curry. We eat a lot of curry. So it feels weird drinking curry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you sweeten the tea? Uh, Ari says, I, I think so. Even in Japan, real matcha is super expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Like They even have those tea houses, which I, yeah, I, I don't know if we will, I will ever get to kind of experience. It's the kind of thing that I think, unless you are Japanese, um, they might not even like let you go and go do it you know what i mean like go and try it <laughs> oh yeah me too yay i love it <laughs> oh chris says what i want to know is how somebody decided they were going to put leaves into hot water same as coffee if i grind those down and add hot water something to... yeah i actually heard a story like someone someone i think it's a chinese invention like chinese invented tea i think so what happened was like someone was boiling water and I think they said like tea leaf fell into the boiling water and it became like a tea. I thought so. So I'm not sure. I just let me verify that. <laughs> I, I like how this whole conversation about drinking tea is going. I like I, I'm a tea drinker. So origin, 
how is T discovered there? Let me check. Ah, hmm. Oh, there you go. Let me let me share. Let me share. Share screen. All right. So it says here, the story of tea begins in China. According to legend, okay, it's a legend. So this Chinese emperor was sitting beneath a tree while his servant boiled drinking water. So the leaf from the tree blew into the water and decided to try the infusion. And there you go. Interesting. Okay, how about, how about coffee then? Like who discovered coffee? I would like to know. That's about tea though. Like who? Okay, let me look. How is coffee? Okay. There. Oh, there, there, there. Huh. There. Okay, Ethiopian legend. So in the legend says the goat herder. I think I read that before. It says that he 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 discovered coffee after he noticed that after eating berries from a certain tree, the, the goats became so energetic that they didn't want to sleep at night. <laughs> okay, okay. That's interesting. So that's about coffee drinking. Interesting. So now we know why, like about how tea, tea is discovered and how coffee is discovered. I think I've read the I've I've read the 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 one about the coffee once, like before. I think even the tea I read that before because I love both drinks. Um. Yeah. Very interesting. I think that's a uh, thanks for thanks for that you know like i think it's interesting how we always end up like discussing more art more than art stuff okay so for this part of the tale you know i think i have to put a uh, i have to use a quick finally <laughs> i couldn't burn burnt orange this poor color is like screaming like hey you guys forgot about me you know like we are true where is like where am i gonna appear so there <laughs> Quimbon orange is your chance to shine. So I'm just gonna put a bit, like mix it with some. I'm just gonna let that kind of yeah, just just flow there. Okay, I'm just gonna use, I think I will use this one. <laughs> oh. Okay, Ari says, I once gifted a nice tea sample. I have all the instruction to make tea, like how the temperature take. Oh, whoa. So that's really interesting. Like they they they'll tell you what to do. Oh, like you have a teapot, you're supposed to like kind of like boil water at a certain temperature, you're supposed to warm the pot up. Yeah, I, I think I've been to one of those tea houses. In Singapore, there's this place called Tea Chapter. So they have like teas from all over the world and like mostly Chinese, like Chinese tea. And they would like kind of go through the the ritual of how you should drink it, you wash your cup and stuff like that. That's really cool. And then there's those those tea with the like they will kind of open up. Um and 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 that there's like actually flowers and stuff inside um this this thing in the water. So you could put them in a transparent cup. And once you put like water in it, it's just gonna like yeah, like bloom, which is so cool. So yay. <laughs> Ooh, no problem, no problem. Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> okay. And Ari says, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I think it, you know, it's the thing, the place to go if we are look, you're looking to learn more about like different types of tea. You know, I, I, I think I mentioned before that I worked as a barista in school. So while I was like schooling, like in, in university, um, I had like, you know, like when you're at university, you had time and then you need money, right? So I was working in coffee bean and tea leaf. So I get to kind of learn a bit about coffee. So I, I think I know like, okay, you know, enough because they did send us for training and we get to like kind of taste different coffee. And it was really cool, you know, like at that time when you're like kind of like in school and you know, this whole culture is going, um, it was like kind of starting up. And then you have people just, you know, these, these um, I think they, it's fairly new and, and yeah, and, and we get to learn, um, and we get to like drink coffee for free. So I think that's kind of the best, uh, the best kind of holiday job anyone can get. 
I guess in Singapore now, like especially now, another place that's really nice to work in is like a maybe a bubble tea shop. Because yeah, then you drink you can drink off bubble tea anytime you like, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The brewing tea. Yeah, I do. Like how do you how do you drink it? Like, do you like let it? Um do you do you let it? Well, let me just let I will let this dry, okay? I'll work on the the feather, okay? Um, on the side here, like maybe a bit darker, because I think we should make it a bit darker. Uh, let me add more under sea green. Actually, this palette is pretty interesting. I quite like it. Um, you know, you know how I hate dioxazine violet, but I think this this the three colors don't look too bad together. The green can be a bit stronger though. But I think that is probably a reason why it's not. Yeah, so that's definitely a good reason. So I'm just going to like add these little furry things that's happening at the bottom here. Okay. Yeah, there. Okay, at the bottom over here. And then um, what I'll do is I will put a bit of water. Like just, just a bit fat, like a little bit here and here. Okay. Oh, does the Anasi green granulate? Yes, it does. As you can see over here. I think you can't see. It's not very obvious. I don't think you can see. But it does granulate like quite a bit. Because it has a lot of the ultramarine, um, ultramarine blue in it. So it does granulate quite a fair bit. Um, pretty good. Like, yeah, it's, it's quite beautiful. It's quite a beautiful color. Okay, it was a ah okay phone call from work, but nothing to be worried about. Okay, nice to know. It's always scary, you know, like when you suddenly get a phone call. You know, like how, um, uh, you know, last in previously when people just just call for no, re I wouldn't say call for no reason, but they call and chat, and now like everybody just kind of like do, do all those stuff like the the catching up the stuff all on 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 the the uh what do you call that uh social media like whatsapp or like on slack or something and then um when you get a phone call it's like a big thing you know like like why did the person call me like that's really weird so it it, it became like something to a bit like kind of like scary to to get like a call because you don't know what is it about so i think that's that's the same thing you know with with getting calls uh, yeah, glad to know it's nothing serious. <laughs> Mr. Chicken is looking so posh. Hey, it's a pigeon. <laughs> it's not a chicken, okay? He's a pigeon. <laughs> he is offended. <laughs> oh, ultramarine blue is a weird color on its own. It doesn't seem to granulate, but if you use it for mixing the blue... Oh, yeah, it does. That's true. Yeah, I think it's it's really interesting. How it does not, I think it's really the difference between that color. Yeah, I, I find I can at least, at least for me, I think uh, ultramarine blue is one of the most popular color to use to make ultra super granulating colors, layering colors, because it's, it's cheap, I think. It's fairly, uh, the granulation is very strong. I think that's the reason, you know, like it's, it's very, very strong. Um, when it's mixed with other colors, which is why, you know, it's a very common color to use for, for that for that purpose. Hmm, I'm thinking, okay, let me just kind of do this. So it's, it will be the, yeah, it will look a bit odd though. Oh, chicken, his family name. Okay, all right. Pigeon chicken. <laughs> I don't know, are you referring to the, what do you call that? The scientific names of, of, of chicken? Is that right? Is that true? Are they like in the same family? Really? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like I'm, I'm, yeah, that's interesting. Interesting to know. I don't know that, that they are in the same family. Are they? Wait, hold on. Let me check. Google time. Are pigeons and chicken related? Oh, there you go. They are, they are called, what, what are they? Uh, are they? <laughs> You're not very good at, at biology. Okay. Oh. 
I'm trying. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay. I love this kind of stuff. Okay. Let me show you guys. Like, why am I? <laughs> Share. <laughs> so that's this thing here. Okay. I'm going to accept all the cookies. Okay. I'm not sure if I can like make this bigger. No, I can't. No. Okay. Let me make this bigger. There. So, where's Pigeon? Pi oh, Pigeon is here. Pigeon is here. Okay. Family name as in Gregory Chicken. <laughs> I thought he's called Pigeon. Um, Pigeon Greg Gregory Pigeon Chicken. <laughs> he has a whole life story, you know. We are like <laughs> okay, so there you go. We have this, uh, I don't know. Um, chicken is here. Len, Len Fau, Len Frau, Frau. They are, they are here. So they are a part of the Galleon series. Oh no 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 Neo, Neo Nathe, Neo Nathe, <laughs> Neo Evi. So Neo Evi. So they okay. Chicken and dark, and the rest is actually part of this Neo Get Nathy. Uh, I don't know what is this. What you call that? Like this scientific name because pigeon is here so pigeon is kind of close to flamingos um no and sand grouse and matisse matisse matisses where's pelicans here ibises is here bee eater woodpecker mouse birds owls eagles where where are parrots ostrich is here Penguins, penguins are here. Okay, I don't know, like, where. Latin name? Oh, yeah, yeah, Latin name. Oh, I don't know, like, where? I don't know where is parrot. Um, I would like to know where parrots are. Are they, like, tropic birds? Maybe they are tropic birds. Okay, interesting. Stop sharing. <laughs> Latin names, Latin names they are. So, no, I think... Yeah, I need to make this. I tell you now that the thing that I hate doing is actually <laughs> mixing these dark colors. I never seem to mix enough of the color. Like, I always finish up. But I'm happy to announce that I think my dioxazine purple is, like, decreasing. <laughs> That's the purpose, you know. Oh, yeah, we haven't decided on our next, our, our um, April color. Anyone here has an idea or you have a request? That you want to do. I know um Siok says she wants to do uh what's that word? Um a Sakura um inspired like set of colors. So anyone here like would like want to try a special special like special color that you think is kind of related to Sakura? Like anyone here has anything you want to like um su um suggest? Oh, okay. Parrots are actually close relatives of falcons. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. He wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now we know. <laughs> okay, there we are. Oh, oh, cobalt, cobalt violet. Okay, cool. Okay, we will have cobalt. But cobalt violet is a very interesting color because we, there are so many different cobalt uh, violet, like, they I don't know which 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 pigment are you referring to? Um Ari? Is it the um the one that we were talking about? Nancy says we have them here for more pets that escape and took up residence in trees near a beach. Um you mean like the parrots? Oprah <laughs> Opera <laughs> No no Opera is Suhan's favorite color <laughs> and i think <laughs> he's gonna like no i'm not gonna use that <laughs> hi morning gina hi and i like gina's like like her her profile picture she has this beautiful rose over here hi you gina hi hi <laughs> oh they uh they're very obvious when they fly over okay they, that's in the day make a lot of noise <laughs> okay pastel pink Ah, pastel pink and cobalt violet. We need a... If we have cobalt violet, it's kind of like replacing the pink, right? Yeah. <laughs> Zuhan says, oh, I don't mind. Really, you don't? 
<laughs> so I, 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 yeah, maybe I would just put it like somewhere. So we have like cobalt, violet. All right. <laughs> cobalt violet, pastel pink. We got to think about the pastel pink part, all right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of doing, you know, like that color, that beige color that is always in the, uh, hold on. There's this color. Uh, like there's this color, this peachy color that is in like all the pastel on the palette, pastel palettes. Do we want to try this one? Yeah, it probably has like white in it, you know, but I think we can try it. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Um, There's a word for it. Like, I don't remember what's the word. Hold on, hold on. Flash color? It's called like flash tint or something. What's that word? A dream brilliant. Yes, that's right. Oh, Gina says, ask. I'm good, thank you. Are you going to paint an iris? We've decided, it's <laughs> a part of the group that we are going to, we're painting a, we're going to paint Gregory chicken, Gregory pigeon chicken, who is like a dignified, uh, you know, uh, pigeon who's going to attend a coronation in his bowler's hat. Um, he's wearing his monocule and mono, monocule, cool, and, and with a golden briefcase. So this is Mr. Pigeon. <laughs> he's called Gregory. <laughs> So sorry about the lack of iris. Yeah, I think last month I painted a flower. So I thought, yeah. And everybody was saying like, this one fits the color. So yeah, there you go. Ah, PV14. Okay, cool. We, we will. I have to go get color though. Oh, you forgot that your worst color was actually emerald. Yeah, the PG36, right? Oh, I, I, yeah, it's wow, the most difficult color to use. Yes, Ari says, Drum Brilliant. Yeah, you're right. Brilliant. Drum Brilliant is the one. So let me just put there. Anyone Anyone who have problems getting Drum Brilliant? Um, Nico Bar. No, there's a color called Cinnabar. Cinnabar. Cinnamon Bar. Cinnabar. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a green. So we, we do have like a few colors. Emerald green? Did someone say emerald green? No, I don't think we should have emerald green. We need a blue, someone. Um, can we have a blue? Anyone share? Like, I'm going to say like we have these. We might have a blue. Cobalt violet. PV14. PB, sorry, PB, uh, 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 14, right? Hmm. I think we said cerulean blue, right? Um, cerulean. Oh, it's gonna be like one of those pastel colors again. Um, June Brilliant. June Brilliant. June Cobalt Violet. Cobalt. Cobalt. Violet. Violet. Ooh. Cobalt. Wrongly. There. What about how about this? How about this one? This one. Phalo turquoise? I think we did phalo turquoise already. So oh hold on. But we already did cerulean blue, right? Because um the last the last the last one we did cerulean blue. Remember this one? We did cerulean blue. Yeah, we already did cerulean blue. So no, no, no. Blue is always hard because there are not a lot of blue. Who has manganese blue? But I think manganese blue will look so weird in the mixture. <laughs> How about cobalt? How about... Oh, there are not a lot of nice... Any, like, nice looking... <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, you said Australia, but isn't... What, you're saying the parrot? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's kind of a tropic bird, you know? Oh, cerulean blue is on the redder side. It's the, um, you're talking about the PB35, right? The one that is like more bright. I don't know. Not so greenish, right? You know what I mean? That one. Yeah, we can. So you'll be like PB, yeah, yeah, PB35. So PB35, PB14. And Jim Brilliant is just like a mixture, right? We are going to hate Jim Brilliant so much. <laughs> <laughs> or do you guys want this is gonna be so super granulating in so Jim Brilliant is a little bit like um it's quite quite opaque 
you know, you want to think rethink the yellow. Yeah. Juhan, do you have an idea, like maybe an earth that you like? Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone, you want to think about it? Yes, you're right. So I said this one, right? Like, but Jen really is very, it's quite opaque. Yeah. I'll pigeon the rating. That way? Really? <laughs> really? Uh, I thought I saw two. Ah, yes. <laughs> Drop Baron Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> he is a special pigeon. So I, I, what I'll do here is I'll just kind of, um, let's see, let's see. I'm going to try to make this part a little bit more strong. Like I want it to stand out a bit more. So, yeah. Just let, yeah. You guys chat amongst yourself, okay? I, I want to make sure that I get this right. I think I want to just have this one here. Like, this is kind of a shadow thing that's happening here. There's also another shadow that's happening here. So I'm just going to, like, just draw, like, put it in. So this part, I am not sure I'm doing it correctly. I don't think I am doing it correctly. Yeah, I shall just put in... Hold on. My queen burned the orange here. So you want to have that color just kind of go in there. I like queen burn orange because it's so transparent. You can put it over a lot of things. And when it makes it, it's one of the best colors actually to use. If you like to have some sort of glow, transparent glow, think gem brilliant. I mean, sorry, queen burn orange is one of the best colors. Earthy yellow, yay, yay. Ah, there, there, there. Ah, okay. Dream brilliant from each brand is also different. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Some are vanilla-like and some are like pinkish, almost orangey. Yeah, that's something we have to think about. Yeah, I, I think we, it would be good to kind of like consolidate. We, let's check like what dream brilliant each of you have and then we kind of like go through what color, like what which one we would choose to, to try out. Ah, Nancy says, so the unusual colored pigeon is called Nicoba. Hmm. Okay, let me Google Nicoba. Nicoba. Okay, let me search. Nicoba pigeon. Oh, there. Oh, so pretty. Oh, my God. <gasps> Everybody, look at that. We should have... <laughs> One of these days, we should, we should paint this nickel bar pigeon oh look at the colors oh my god that green is emerald green <laughs> we should do like inspired by nature so we should do like a what what blue do you guys think this is like we should use intra in dentron in dentron blue um tpo and emerald green <laughs> i think especially like this one over here <laughs> oh no <laughs> why why oh no <laughs> I think it's really nice. You read you Desen's color. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, it's super colorful. Look at the color. Oh my god. Like, why don't we see it like in Singapore, like walking around? I'm sure people will like want to like like have them as pets in here or every anywhere else, you know? Wow, they are so beautiful. Thanks for sharing. That is so nice. And this Mr. Region, Mr. Region Pigeon here is so boring because he is not colorful. <laughs> okay, let me um, try to uh, finish this. <laughs> it won't be long, shouldn't be wrong, long. I will um, probably try out, try to get his, um, uh, his gap done like his uh, bow tie and his boar's hat and everything done and i'll like work on his um tech the texture like the fur and everything later on so maybe tomorrow when i have time um uh, yeah I'll, I'll do that okay because i think we are not having like running out of time yeah there oh paulo says the most colorful birds we have over there are bee eaters okay? Uh, do they actually eat bees? That's kind of scary. 
I think Gina says she likes to paint birds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks. I hope you... I, I'm glad you're not like too disappointed that we are not painting flowers. <laughs> I remember Gina was around. Like she came... Like were you like watching the like the last time I painted the chonky uh, bird? I remember that was like the first time that I got so many people watching because I was painting birds. Yeah, very fairly. I, I was like... I was quite puzzled, you know, how that happened. <laughs> I, <laughs> I need a time tracker. Oh no, Gregory is still naked. No, it's happy. Okay, okay, I will, I will. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Greg. Um, you are gonna get like an orangey feet. I can't give you red feet. You've got to change the color of your boots. I'm sorry. Because I don't have that color. I don't think you mind, right? I mean, as long as you have a feet. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit less well-defined. Less well-defined. He's going to be a little bit less defined. But yeah, I will make sure he has things that he needs, you know, to look presentable. Like, yeah. I will like work on his definition, uh, make him more HD <laughs> um, tomorrow. But yeah, today we will concentrate on giving... Making him look good because he's going for coronation, you know. He's important. So we have to make him important. So Greg, I'm, yeah, don't worry, I won't fail you. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> oh, they eat bees and wops. Wow, okay. Are there so many of them around? Like, what if they don't have, there's no bees and warps? Can they eat anything, every stuff, other stuff? Ari says, a limited palette of granulate colors is going to be, yeah, it is. going to be beautiful. So difficult. I, I think we, we did that several, I think last year or year before, and it was so difficult to use. I should show you. Oh, blog user asks, am I going to do IG Live on Sunday? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, I do, I do. I, I will do it um, just because I like to spend most of my time doing it. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe they migrate <laughs> to country with them. Oh, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure they, if they have no choice, can they eat bees? Like, I mean, do you say bee, bee eaters? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if they have no choice, they'll eat whatever, right? Just like how, like, if I have no choice, I think I would eat durian if i were to starve so it kind of worked the same i guess oh hold on let's give him a uh, orangey make him orangey oh look at that color flow Ooh, that's what i like about um having like painting watercolors just see how um how many of you actually like painting watercolors because you can see paint move like flow like that makes you feel so so good. How many of you are like me? For me, I think I like the the fact that they they kind of just move and they they mix on their own, um, and you can get like different things like based on, um, how you 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 add them and, yeah. <laughs> ah, there. Oh. Oh, okay. Do they fly that far? Like, they sound very small, like tiny, <laughs> because they are like bee eaters, you know what I mean? Oh, you like this later shop front? Yeah, I think um, I I thought, you know, when I first started doing the shop front challenge on uh, Instagram, um, I was just thinking like a lot of people um, are kind of beginning beginners, so they don't really know or they are not good at um, doing different angles and, and things like that. So I thought, yeah, let's do just do like the simple straight on so that it's easy for people to follow and do it. Because if you're going to like make them like, em you know, immediately come like do the pain um, in perspective, um, it, it, it's going to like, like it's gonna freak them out. If they're gonna like, no, oh, I can't do it. Like, oh, I'm so bad at it. No, I'm give up. You know, we just want people to do that. <laughs> I'm starting to like cream burn orange. Yes, it is. Like, I think another color that I really like is uh, that's pretty similar to this one is the mummy bauxite. Bauxite, yeah, 
it's also like that. It's so like um, granular. It's so glowy. You know, it's transparent and glowy. Um, Gina says, I love watercolor a lot. I'm using acrylic at the moment. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Why? Oh no. Are you migrating to acrylic or are you always doing acrylic? Acrylic? I think acrylic is is mm, too it dries too fast for my liking. Okay, they are they are small. Yes, they fly that far. Okay, okay. A little bit like swallow. I see swallows. Ah, okay. I, I don't I'm not sure. I know I'm I I really I tell you I'm not a I'm not a bird. Um I don't know a lot about birds. Yeah, so if you're expecting you guys are expecting to learn about birds from me, um uh, no, then this is the wrong channel, people. I paint birds, but I uh, don't know about birds that well. So now, oh, I realized his eyes. His eyes are... Let's give him his, like, Queen Aquidone burnt orange eyes because it's actually Queen Aquidone burnt orange. Queen Aquidone burnt orange eyes. So, Mr. Graggy. Graggy chicken. Mr. Chicken. I'm going to let you... Let this dry before I work. Um, I'm going to just paint the outside. And remember, I will also give him like a monocule. Mono, monocle? Monocle? Cool. Um, monocle. I also give him a monocle in a while. Just, yeah. Let me give him his like dark, dark eye, um, his uh, eyeliner. Okay. So he's going to have really nice, like, expressive eyes so i think i'll have fun doing uh painting the details later on you know or oh, we need that 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 there oh oh that 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 there <laughs> two one says i remember i know i struggle with the acrylic gouache i still actually still have it <gasps> one of these days i'll bring it i will try it again ah you just love colors uh yeah it doesn't really matter right like as long as there's colors. <laughs> oh, the Singapore national bird, the red sunbird. Oh, I think you did mention. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah, I I I forgot how it actually looks like. Well, now my my that friend who loves um birding. Oh, I remember he called his hobby birding. The red sun bird. Bird. What? Is it a red sun bird? Is that a thing? Let me check. Oh, it's red sun, but like crimson sun bird? Do we have this guy? Oh, we do. Oh, it's it's a Singapore bird. I didn't know. Okay, there you go. Just kind of share with you guys how the red sun bird looks like. There, red sun bird. Yeah, one day we should paint the red sun bird as well. Yeah, maybe a crimson... I don't know what color, middle red, um, pyro, scarlet, um, yeah, something like that. It's really interesting, you know, this is like nature there. Oh, it's difficult since only... Eh? Wait, hold on. Ari, oh, okay, okay. No, and let me see if there is any other brand that has got that color i think winston newton also has something similar i don't know oh chris says she has so many short friends to catch up with well yeah, that's a good thing that means you will never run out of things like pinks to paint <laughs> oh yeah i mean that's true yeah she she's around but i think she hasn't been like joining us recently yeah, but I think she's the kind who who kind of like um you know really shines with um she did mention you know before COVID that she has a lot of good friends and she goes out quite often and a lot and then how COVID has been really difficult for her, like the lockdown and everything. So I think she she she's just kind of living her life. Um in um yeah, but she'll come. Like we'll wait for her her to be like you know, crazy about art and she she will come, you know. 
I don't know. Does he look region? Does he regal, 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 regal? <laughs> oh no, he said demon eyes. I hope he looks okay now. I don't think he looks demon, right? I don't know. Does he look like he's like an Egyptian bird or something? <laughs> Whoops. Birds are scary. <laughs> oh, they are. <laughs> crimson is such a delightful sounding word. Crimson. Crimson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Birds are like watercolor. Unforgiving. <laughs> I think I will have to like kind of like strip off a little bit. Like, like let me just kind of strip off a bit of this because I think it's... I hope I can though because this color on top here is the yeah I can like very we'll see I think I have to like strip off a bit like this part is kind of white I will use a like gold oh I had to draw his hat before I end this I have to have his hat how can we not have his hat on let me oh the, the worst hat is this one right okay let me let me just try where's my Oh, there. There, 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 there. <laughs> the coolest bird is Big Bird from Sesame Street. Oh, he is. I, I like him. He's always so happy. You know, I, I, I like it when he kind of shakes um, his head or hair and body and then his full fur, all his fur, his, his, his feather just kind of all ruffle and just flaps around. It's so, so cute. Is this a boa's hat? Am I like... Oh no. He's just like looking... In... Does it look like he's wearing a construction hat? Hold on. Let me Google how a boa hat looks like. Bowler. Bowler? Bowler? Bowler hat. Oh yeah? Like that? Okay, hold on. On a bird. On a... On a... Bird. Oh, he's like you know this guy called Margaret. 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 He needs a top hat. Top hat. Top hat. Really? We want a top hat. Okay. <laughs> top hat or bowler hat. Top hat or bowler hat. <laughs> What is this? Crimson Commandos for your names for a special for G.I. Joe subset. Is this like G.I. Joe? Um, is this a G.I. Joe thing? <gasps> it needs a top hat. Okay. Everyone says top hat. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Oh yeah, me too. I like I like Margaret as well. I, I love his. The one where he's in the sky, like the man in the umbrella in the sky. Was it the one in the 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 one with the um, apple in front? I don't know. He's, he's also one of my favorite. I like his clean style and I like how imaginative and he is. Okay, come guys, this guy, come decide. Top hat or bowler hat? Bow bowler bowler hat. Come come come. Well, I think about um, his golden briefcase. You know, I think his head is a bit small. You guys think his head is a bit small? Top hat? Top hat, okay. <laughs> we have a very big, like, top hat. I think his head is very small. I have to do something about his head. He is looking a little bit, right, not right. Let's fix him, okay? He looks a bit strange. Let's give him a bigger head. He looks better now. Like, now he has a bigger head. He's more himself. I don't know. Does it look wrong? Top hat! All right. Top. Okay, there you go. We'll do top hat then. Okay, let me just paint him a top hat. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Greg the Builder, we, can we fix it, Greg the Builder? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, yeah, correct. That's the one. Green apples, bow hat. Yeah, bow, bow hat. Yes, that's right. Okay, top hat. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know, he's like the mono Monopoly guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> right. 
Right like that? Okay, there you go. Is it too small? I'm sure it's just too small. Like, I'm just trying to make it, like, look strange. Like, does he look strange? He's evil looking. The evil looking guy. Like, he's just doing his work. Like, maybe he's like some kind of spy or something. There. Looking regal. Okay. Right. Let me add his, his glasses with a gold pen. Or should it be like a silver, like a white pen? Maybe I'll just use a white pen instead. Easier. Yeah. Whew. Okay, there. Um, Bert. Does it look weird? There's this like little thing that kind of just hangs, right? Like I'm just gonna like. Like like that. <laughs> yeah. He has a comb over. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> he is like. He's now evil. Like we, we restore his evilness. <laughs> Let's give him like more impressive. Like <laughs> I like how we always like we give him like we do some like um we do like a, a character development for our subject. This is the best like funnest part of like doing this. So. There, him looking very impressive. <laughs> He's like the most awesome looking guy ever. I like him already. Do you think he needs a kind of a... Oh, his bow tie. Should he have a bow tie? Huh? Can we give him a bow tie? Like a little kind of a... I don't know. Like a bow tie? Is it too high? I'm like really bad at drawing bow tie. Does it look like he's wearing a bow tie? Oh gosh. You need some bling bling ah? <laughs> what? <laughs> How should... How should how would that how would that look actually? I think I've got to wait for this to dry before I like just line it over. And uh yeah, maybe we give him a like ooh, how? How how should we do his blings? It's just kind of like a diamond like right thing over here, like goes over like this. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Sarah! Hello! <laughs> Sarah says, now he needs a darker rim on the monocule inside of the white lines. Oh, diamond! Diamond ring on his claw! Ooh, how do I do that? <laughs> Let me use a pencil. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I can... I'm drawing it right, but there. That's a, like a diamond ring on his claw. <laughs> it's kind of tiny though. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, and Sarah says she needs a white, like, a rim of black. Okay, let me do that. <laughs> oh, the rim. <laughs> Rhapsody would have enjoyed this, this session. Yeah, I think she would have, like, cooked up, like, a whole story about his life, his wife, his children, what he's doing. <laughs> his whole, whole family would be in the story. I think she would love it, right? <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Greg is a special, he's a special bird. <laughs> so he's looking very special. Hey, there you go. And the uh, the ring. I will have to find a way to make it. Maybe I'll do another ring. He has two rings, you know, like a gold ring. Maybe I'll like kind of do a gold ring over here as well, you know. Special guy. And then I think we would have like a little gold, gold now. Okay, okay, we could do a little gold. Okay, we'll do a, a, a we'll do that. Like go hold on for a minute while I try to mix a dark color because we need to paint something really dark around the gold, the white rim. Okay, because he this has to be a dark uh, glasses. 
like this has to have a definition. So there, there you go. He's looking very, very serious, scouring, <laughs> bling on his wings. No, <laughs> enough, <laughs> scouring. <laughs> Let me bring my gold pen. Hold on. You guys, full of cool ideas. Where's my gold pen? Where's my gold pen? I think I have gold pen. I do have like shinier ones, but I I wonder what happened to that. I used to have this like gel pen that's so like so gold, so special gold. Okay. So this is uh, gold. Okay, this is gold. <laughs> Pocket watch on a chain. <gasps> Where would that be? Where would you have that pocket watch? Like hanging here? Maybe underneath? Like here? Would it look really odd? Where do you think guys think I should put the uh, pocket watch? <laughs> and Sarah says, good job! <laughs> Yay, thank you. So it's not very obvious. Like I'm trying to give him like a gold ring, but it's not obvious. Can you see I'm trying to give him gold rings? But it's not very obvious. Yeah, where should that... Okay, let me just Google. Like, how... Oh, there. Oh, there. There, there. Oh, he needs... He needs a, a cane, walking cane, though. But I don't have a cane that I can... I don't think there's a way for me to do a cane anywhere. <laughs> Nancy says... A long way from an iris, but more fun for the Wanderers. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really fun, right? I think Wanderers love a good story. So it's always fun to kind of dress up, like to paint a little animal. Um, what? Sprinkle some feather on the ground. <laughs> Pocket watch. Yeah, like where? I'm just going to give him some blinks on his feather. But my, I somehow this pen is not too gold <laughs> you know next time we can have these kind of fun thing i think it's really fun you know having this like character development kind of uh you know it somehow only happens um uh, when uh chris is around remember we had that that story with the with the Amelia? amanda amanda and her boyfriend <laughs> because just because of uh chris's idea <laughs> so yeah let me just make this a bit stronger okay. and he and and block was saying we have little feathers right here and there okay we'll do that we'll do that yeah accepting all requests all requests it's just him the shadow you know he's in the shadows watching things in the shadow so it's just kind of watching and then we have these feathers like just dropping this here and there. I don't know if it's looking weird though. Oh. <laughs> pocket watch. Okay, let me see. Where should I put a pocket watch? Oh, so funny. I had I I <laughs> so cute. Gentleman birds. Oh there, there, there. Okay, let me check. Oh, you know most of them? are actually like owls okay let me just kind of show you guys like what people have done like nobody has done a pigeon though like i am just showing here like i was searching for monocle on birds and then uh we have like gentleman pigeon oh my god there's a gentleman pigeon <gasps> oh my god there is such a thing <laughs> everybody there's such a thing <gasps> look at that oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know that there's such a thing. It's not. At oh, look at this is a this is a real guy. Is this a real pigeon? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Oh, there pocket. Oh, where can we put put a pocket watch? I don't know where we can put a pocket watch, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool 
I'll, I'm just gonna write it there. I think I will write it somewhere, like here, maybe here. So I'm gonna use like the tiny like pen. Like, uh, do I have a tiny, cute tiny pen that I can write on? I think I wanna. I'm gonna write it really carefully. Uh, with a tiny watch, a tiny pen. Hold on, let me look for a tiny pen. Oh, I should find something that I can write nice in. Like, I'm really bad at writing. Okay, let me try using this one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. You know, Wanderers are like super, super duper, like creative people, actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna write it. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> wow. So this is where should I write this? Here? Should I write this like here? Like this? So this is uh Greg Bond. Isn't he is, isn't he called like Greg? Greg? Okay, never mind. Greg Bond. There. <laughs> All the puns, oh my god. All the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let me write. <laughs> License. <laughs> this is funny. License to drill. <laughs> <laughs> what is this <laughs> should i put make this into like a <laughs> make this into a a, a, a postcard <laughs> for all of you <laughs> <laughs> pull another day <laughs> and the <laughs> the worm it's not enough. <laughs> Skyfall. <laughs> At the end, we put Skyfall, okay? <laughs> and the birds. <laughs> Who love me. <sighs> <laughs> I tell you, you people are like, <laughs> is that is that such a <laughs> go finger, go finger, <laughs> Thunderbird? Is Thunderbird one of the one of the Bond Bond movie name? But Bond James. James Bond movie. Uh, Thunder, Thunderball. Ah. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, okay, stop it. You all stop. <laughs> so this is Mr. Greg, the birdie. Greg Bond. I thought he's an evil. He's now not evil. <laughs> he's an evil uh, gentlemanly bird who's licensed to trill when and he pull another day and uh, where birds not enough and the birds who love me and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um Greg Bond. Thanks for watching. Um I think I had fun. I think everybody else had fun. Um, I will, what I'll do later on, um, as you can see, you know, it's not very textured because I haven't done the feather yet. So what I'll do later on, um, tomorrow or what, um, I'm just going to add the texture, you know, the fur, so you can see the details and everything. But I think, all in all, I, I, quite, I had good fun. I hope you guys had fun um, doing this topic, even though we didn't paint something very beautiful, but I think this is something fun that, that is, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I think next time it'd be fun, like having a weird looking animal and then we, we kind of like give it a, uh, 
life story, you know, we, we have this uh, great bond, which is, um, I think it's it's not just, you know, it didn't come from me, it came from everyone, the art community, and we had fun um, painting it together. So it's not just about painting, it's also about, you know, putting that creative hat um, into into a uh, use and 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 you know trying to do something uh, fun and 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 in, like like that's that's us you know that's ours <laughs> yes thank you yeah it was good fun thank thank you so much especially the back where we are talking about this I really like the pool another day it's <laughs> funny thank you thank you everybody thank you thanks paulo thanks nancy thank you to juan sarah china uh, nancy uh, blog user uh did you think paulo again yeah i did i think um yeah um sarah thanks sarah and so many people <laughs> dr greg <laughs> thank you i hope you guys um see you again next week next week is show and tell oh, and you'll be seeing all these like really beautiful awesome portraits so if you're on discord yeah you would have seen it if not to next week please 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 come you must see what people have done they are all so good okay um and thank you blog user for that coffee it's like the first step of me getting a basic uh plan for so that we can get better quality um uh, i can multi-stream on on um, this on this platform yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thank you so much. Um, see you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Good night.